Hi, I'm Julianne Soviero, and I'm here today to talk to you about how we can overcome some preseason challenges so we can have the best spring season yet. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you today about is looking at some of the ways in the games that you feel like you don't optimize your performance. So for example, maybe you don't do as well, you know, when the other team is chanting or cheering or jeering or kind of intimidating, maybe you find that distracting. So something you want to do in your preseason is you want to simulate that situation as, as closely as possible to the actual game. And in that way, you learn how to deal with it before the stakes become really high. Similarly, let's say you always have trouble when you get to like um, an 0 and 2 count, for example, which seems weird, but some people tend to overthrow the ball at 0 and 2 and get themselves into a full count very easily. So then what you want to do is try practicing with a batter in there, with an umpire in there, um, and work that 0 2 count every time so you're kind of getting things a little bit more around the strike zone, but still creating a solid 0 2 pitch. So these are things that you can kind of do to craft a better preseason training and also to kind of avoid that boredom, that monotony that can happen, especially in, if you live in the Northeast and you're playing a sport that's outdoors. You know, it's hard to do fly balls inside a gym um, effectively. It's also hard to keep it fresh and fun and exciting. So one way you want to keep it fresh and fun and exciting is you want to try to make a goal for every time you go out there to play. You want to try to make it so that, um, you know, in this practice, I'm going to try and accomplish X, Y, and Z, or in this practice, I'm working on this aspect of my mental game. And don't just go out there and, and say, oh, I'm doing the same thing that I did yesterday. Because yes, it's important to recreate the same good mechanical movements over and over and over again to establish good motor memory. But yeah, sometimes, you know, if you don't look at it the right way, that can seem kind of boring. Um, the other thing I would strongly suggest is address any lingering mental issues that you may have prior to stepping in there. So, for example, if you get overly pumped up before games and that tends to put you in a bad spot or you can't get pumped up enough before games, you know, again, is this something maybe you want to try to address through hypnosis or um, EMDR or some of these other modalities that can really set you in a great place mentally. Um, the other thing I would say in the preseason is you want to take the time to recover. You've got to think between weight training and training with your team and then individual positional practice. Sometimes in the preseason you might be spending, you know, four hours almost a day. I mean, some of those practices if you're in college are optional, but we all know what that means, you know. So you have to set aside the time to recover so you're not dealing with exhaustion, um, mentally and physically and so that you're not dealing with an overuse injury because you got to remember also if you're overworking your body and not training right that can also put you in a bad state mentally it can lead you to be depressed so you want to try and overcome that by setting aside time to rest whether that's with massage or chiropractic or um, if you're just doing recovery pose or if you're taking a bath in Epsom salts, all of these sorts of things you have to actually schedule in because if you don't take time to rest and recover, your body will make you take time to rest and recover, generally in the form of illness or an injury. So you've got to make sure to set that aside. And even if you're in college, try to schedule you know, some naps throughout the day because when you sleep, that's when your body does the most intense repair work. So keep up the great work, guys, and I'm hoping for the best spring season yet this year.